I have been talking about Haruki Murakami's book in the last couple of days and I have to talk about this book, uh, Windup.Chronicle. Um, this one I, uh, I uh, read, you know, one of the first uh, novel by him and um, uh, it, was, it struck me very, very um, hard for me because it's, it's, it's like a feeling of uh, the philosophy type of things almost that uh, because this protagonist who is the um, you know like a married man um, goes to this well after I think a cat is missing of course and um, looking for cats and uh, also after that uh, the wife uh, left him and uh, he so he he was you know like a stricken by this um, the wonderment that how the life changed or whatever and he goes to the abandoned well and uh, you know this well is a good bit deep and uh, uh, you have to have a ladder to goes down and goes up climb up so he goes there and uh, I would say meditate and um, you know that if he does that it looks like or sounds like he, he is getting somewhere spiritually right and uh, uh, so I think he does he, he, he comes up again and uh, uh, life continues after that, but uh, along the way, I think he um, he meets many, many you know very strange people. Uh, I would say because those people, the girls and um, woman, a man, uh, you know, tell him a lot of different thing to him, and uh, he. He get tangled with them, and uh, but the life continues, and uh, and I think he many many times he goes to the well to think about what well, what is life, right? What is life? Why I'm here? Or why you know? Or what is you know? What is the purpose of or the meaning of um, the life or something? So it you know it's sounds like a bit deep philosophical issues there so that's going on all the way through and uh, I think that's kind of a deep you think <laughs> deep okay and then there is a side story and I think particular side story is uh, I think pretty much like um, completely different from the uh, the main storyline and it's nothing to do with the main storyline as always and uh, but it's fascinating and that is particular fascination of the, the story is I think a magical realism and I realize that uh, that people talk about you know, Haruko Murakami is a magical realism and I think that means I think uh, this fantastic element come to life and uh, when you're reading this particular part of it, you feel like that's real realistic. You know, even though you know something that's an unrealistic thing become very real, and so you get ooh, you know, you get kind of uh, taken by particular effect. And I think that's much called realism. In this um, particular book, uh, one of the those moments. Uh, I remember, you know, when I remember this Wild Up Bird Chronicle, first thing that comes to my mind is this particular scene that his uh, acquaintance, uh, this protagonist's acquaintance, a little bit maybe older gentleman, uh, goes to um, Manchuria during the World War II and uh, 
you know, fighting with uh, the Russians and so forth. And uh, um, he kind of a hide in the, some kind of a rubble, right? And uh, a witness something happening like a little bit away from him, and but you can see what's going on very, very clearly. And uh, this is about the Russian um, soldier uh, cap capturing some opponents uh, of the, uh, in that particular war. And uh, uh, he, uh, this particular commander, I think, uh, uh, does something completely, <laughs> completely out of my imagination, all right? And completely, wow, you know, moments there. And uh, <clears throat> so that particular scene is very strong. And also the other parts, I kind of enjoy it. It's like always his story has something, you know, bad thing happened to him or somebody else. So he gets back to this person for revenge in his mind, right? Unconsciously, unconsciously revenging. Um, but, you know, that particular thing happens um, with this wife's brother, who is a kind of a bad guy, you know? So this protagonist goes there and, uh, you know, beats shit out of him, right? <laughs> okay, so um, that's fun because of the this satisfactions of revenge, and uh, um, but anyway, the, uh, I have to read it again because uh, that's a while ago, and uh, I don't have a book. You know, usually when I read it and I keep book for some reason, uh, I couldn't find the book. So I have to get the book again, and it's a very thick book, you know, and uh, but it's it's worthwhile, I, I think, you know, it's kind of an enjoyable book. So all through, all through this book, um, you have this very important thing you have to discover. You have to read it because it's keep on going, and uh, uh, you have to find out what it is, and. Uh, uh, kind of a urgency of finding out what it is, but at the end it, it's nothing there. Yeah? Okay, <laughs> that's a spoiler maybe, but uh, um, yeah, mostly his fiction is something like that. You know, you you build and build and build, and uh, so you cannot get out of it, and uh, you follow this particular storyline, and then you know. Almost, you know, you feel like you get the solution, you get the results at the end. Uh, but uh, but particular results is is something. Sometimes it's it's very satis satisfactory, but sometimes it's uh, uh, it's not unsatisfactory. It's you know it's halfway satisfactory, but it's the question still remains there, and I think that's a good thing. Uh, rather than, you know, the bad thing, because, you know, anything in, in life is something you search for it and you try to find the solutions, you try to find the, uh, some way to be, to be happy, right? Okay, but uh, once you find it, you know, it's not that, that, you know, you find sooner or later that's not the, that's not the solution, you know, you you continuously search for it, and uh, um, but even then, you no, know, still that search is continuous. So I think that's a good thing. You continuously uh, strive uh, to to find these solutions, and I think this book is like that. And uh, uh, that's why I think uh, everybody, I think the top uh, list of Murakami's. I think uh, uh, most of the people I, I uh, looked at, uh, I think uh, they put Wind Up World Chronicle as a, you know, first, top, uh, the, the rank. 
and uh, so uh, for me too I would put that one as a top so you know if you haven't read anything of Haruki Murakami uh, I would say you know first you have to read something very more probably shorter or lighter you know like a Kafka on the show or the Norwegian word or something else um, then you know you kind of prepared for for this particular book and you read it and you have to somehow you know um, persevere to to you know but you don't have to persevere I think this book you know gradually you know you get hooked and you you read through this so um, you know the, uh, I think the wind up book chronicle everybody's number one list okay please read it okay thank you bye